I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I achieved this look. This video is going to be about finger coils on natural hair 3C. If you guys are interested, please stay tuned. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Key Love Scott. I'm going to be showing you how to do finger coils on thick hair. My hair texture is 3C4A. If your texture is anywhere near the same, it's going to look like this after a week. I'm going to be reviving my finger coils and that's why it looks like this now because it's pretty old. So um, the first step that you want to do is make sure that you go wash your hair and wet it. So that's exactly what you're going to be seeing here in this next, cl next clip. Now that my hair is wet, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Shea Moisture. This is for wash and goes, but you can also use it for this particular method. So go ahead and get this because you will not be disappointed. It smells super good and it is literally my favorite. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start to section off my hair. I'm going to pull up the front part first since I know that that takes the longest to get dry. The back of my hair tends to dry the fastest. And you want to do this on damp hair. Um, the wetter the hair it is, the better that your results will turn out. So I like to start with the back of my hair first. So um, if your hair is the same way too, then you should probably start in the back. I love you guys so much. I literally decided to record while our son is in the bathtub. So if you see me smiling, I'm literally laughing at him. He's hilarious. Now that I have my hair divided into sections, you want to pour a generous amount into the palm of your hand. This is going to help detangle your hair. And um, if you do have like problems with your hair tangling easily this is going to help eliminate that so make sure you put it all the way from the root down to the tip Make sure when you're using the gel that you get it on both sides of your hair. Um, this is probably the most important because this is what helps to define your coils. When you're finger coiling, you want to make sure that your strands of hair are pretty lubricated. And that is what helps to form the coil. Right now, I'm just using my Denman brush to go through and detangle my hair. Um, typically, I like to start at the bottom and work my way up, but since my hair was already pre-coiled, I should probably start at the top where it's a lot looser. Um, doing this is going to help your coil be a lot more easier to form. Now I'm going to go ahead and section this part off until I'm ready to work on that side. So stretch out a small section of your hair and while it is stretched out make sure that no other hair is in your way like you see me struggling it's a struggle you don't want to struggle like that and you want to make sure that you're doing your finger kind of in like a jump rope fashion to where you're not putting too much strain on it you're just stretching that strand of hair out and you're twirling it around your finger this is how you form your finger coil you can also put your finger on the top of that part of your head if you feel like it is putting too much tension on your hair. It should be like a very gentle twist.
like to do my finger coils very small because it comes out more defined and it looks more curly than anything but you can do yours bigger but you may run into the risk of having um, the roots of your hair being a little bit puffy If you're having trouble seeing exactly how I'm doing this, don't worry you guys. I will show a closer view where you can see exactly how I am curling or coiling my hair. Um, if you have thick hair like me, definitely do small sections because when you're doing finger coils on thick natural hair, it is definitely a process. But if you have detangled it and you have put detangler and some of the gel on it and it's already damp then it should make the process a whole lot easier for you this style typically takes me around an hour to do so as you guys can see I have finished the back portion of my hair and now I'm going to move on to the side section of my hair so this is the part where I'm really going to show you guys exactly how I am coiling the hair. You want to get as close to the roots as possible and when you do that just kind of twirl your finger around your hair and while you're doing it you're doing a twist in motion with your thumb and your pointer finger. So twirl it all the way down to the end and then you do it again so pay very close attention to my fingers I do this specifically for the front of my hair because it's a little bit harder to do in the back but they pretty much have the same type of motion The last step is to blow dry your hair. The reason why I blow dry my hair is to make sure that my coils turn out the way that I want them to. If you go to bed with your hair damp, you will wake up and your coils will be very flat and smashed. If you're gonna blow dry them, you focus on the roots of your hair to make sure that they will not unravel. And you also want to just make sure that your whole head is predominantly dry. That is gonna preserve your hairstyle and it's gonna make it last for at least a week, if not longer. So this is my favorite step to do. I usually blow dry my hair anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes. And I take a break in between because it gets way too hot up in that bathroom. So definitely make sure to blow dry your hair, but do it on the cool shot only. This is the final look. I'm shaking my hair just to make sure that it has that movability and it's not sti stiff or stuck to my head. And as you guys can see, my hair is literally 93% dry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my bonnet on since I am literally about to wash my face and go to sleep. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a like and subscribe if this video was helpful to you. And I will see you guys in another video. I'm coming equipped. Huh? Yeah. I believe them like a pig. Huh? Yeah. I got the kingdom. Where are my manners on speak? I'm turning the beat to a kitchen. I'm praising what all my exists. I'm doing it for all my descendants. This is the land.